Okay, I'm out here walking around in the woods today and I found this porcupine trail here in this trail. If you follow it far enough, should eventually lead to a porcupine. And it's about, oh, a little bit over 24 hours old because there's a little bit of fresh snow in it. And it was snowing yesterday afternoon a little. So, but, and I can tell the trail is going this way, even though there isn't much detail um, in the track because number one, it looks like there's a big pad here and I can't see the toes exactly, but it looks like toes would be up here. But porcupines walk toed in, kind of like pigeon toed. And this way, the tracks are pigeon toed. The other way, this way, they go out. So anyhow, let's follow this trail and see where it leads. I don't know exactly how far it goes, but we're gonna find out. All right, I'll turn the camera back on when I find something maybe more interesting. Well, wait a sec, let's go down here and see where it goes. It goes down this hill trails over here. I'm just taking the easy way because there's lots of low branches. See that indentation in the snow up there? That is the porcupine trail. This is a red squirrel. But we are following the porcupine, which is down here. Ooh, the snow is deep. Okay. Let's see what we can find. Well, I've been following the trail for a few minutes here, and uh, it came out of that beautiful forest uh, there, down the hill, around, and now it's going across the alder swamp toward that island there. I mean, I call it an island. It's not surrounded by water, but it is surrounded by wetlands. So let's follow this way a little bit Let's see what we can find okay this looks like some rough going so I'm gonna turn the camera off I'll turn it back on when we get to the island okay we're on the island I'm following the trail you can see a beautiful snowshoe rabbit track here look at those big feet that's the that whole thing right there is the hind foot of a snowshoe rabbit and they're large like they're big like that's probably five and a half inches long and that came down across the porcupine trail but the porcupine trail goes through here and let's see what we can find oh man this is thick. Uh, well, here's where our rabbits have been hanging out. Okay. Here we go. Oh, so here's the trail. Okay. Now here, the light snow was blocked by these trees. So you can see. Okay. You can see. Here's the f foot pad. The, of the porcupine and these all these little marks up there there's are, those are its claws so it's definitely going this way okay let's go check it out oh this is this is thick i am not going under there oh 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 oh, oh. there's the porcupine death that snowshoe rabbit leaving the presents. Okay, that's where the porcupine lives. Okay. Look at it slid right down here. I'm sure it's in there. Can't see. 
That is all porcupine poop <laughs> in the bottom of its house. It smells like pine. It's in there. There's this claw marks right there where it was sliding in. Okay, so we followed this trail to the end and I know the porcupine is in there, but I'm not gonna go digging in there looking for it. So I think we can call that a successful porcupine hunt. I just wanted to show you uh, one of the things the porcupine has been eating and um, we were following the trail. That way I was so intent at looking at the trail. We walked right by this red oak tree, I believe, that the porcupine has eaten pretty much 95% of the bark off the top of that tree. So that tree will probably die. Uh, yeah, but that's not what it had for breakfast today or yesterday because there's no tracks around that tree. That was earlier. But I thought we'd go and see what the porcupine was eating. So there's my tracks. We followed the trail that way and found its den. Now I thought I'd follow it this way and see what it's been eating. So let's go do that. Okay, so I followed the porcupine trail the opposite way that we did before, the way it came from. And follow it along. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. And it goes right to the base of this tree. It doesn't continue any farther. And then you look up the tree, which happens to be another red oak tree. And the top of the tree is very very i don't know if you can see that but it's a lot of the bark is missing so you know i really 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 have noticed that porcupines and other animals really affect what grows in the forest uh there are not many oak trees on this piece of land here and if the porcupine is living near one it can easily kill it. And um, that seems to be what is happening here. So, you know, if <laughs> there's certain trees they really like. And uh, if there's a lot of porcupines pines around, those don't exist anymore, or they're very rare in that area. So we did it, the complete porcupine search. Okay. <laughs>